Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games, and welcome back to Conquistador, or Expeditions Conquistador. You think after all these episodes I would know the name? I love this game. Um, I don't really w know what to do right now here in uh, Mexico. I know what I want to do, is I want to murder as many Aztecs as we can to steal their shit. But they really just want us to do nice things for them. So we're going to go see if we can find some people who want us to do not nice things to the Aztecs. See, we'll camp here. Is everybody busy doing camp stuff? I think so. We'll sing a song about camping. Camp town ladies, sing the song. Do dar. Oops. I didn't know you could click on the map like that. That wasn't what I was trying to do. There we go. What's that? What's in this chest? Metals. I think we already came to the farm here, didn't we? Uh, yeah, we did. In a previous episode. We can trade. <clears throat> See, they have a very... Uh, we can buy food, but we're good. We'll just leave. Make a bunch of weird noises instead, apparently. We're off roading. Brum. We're budding on Don Quixote. Oh, sweet. Camp. See, we found some medicine. Found some meat. Oh, apparently, there's a city just north of us. Let us check it out. Pippity clop clop. Okay, we'll check this out. Chart the roads. Oh, so we're gonna have something in the contextual thing. Alright, get me in. Hello, we are the children of the sun. It's like, like our band name. Woo! Rocking out with Carlos Dick Sakuro. Long before you reach the settlement, you notice that the jungle is unusually silent. The natives greet you warily, eyeing your saddlebags. Many of the town folks look diseased. Oh, their skin covered in spots. They look suspiciously like smallpox to you. The chief, uh, Itzy, is surprisingly difficult to locate. His wife fetches him from the depth of a home, which looks marginally less dismal than the others. He is not an old man, but his back is bent and his skin is gray and sickly. He hangs in dark... It hangs in dark folds beneath his eyes. The children of the sun have returned. You brought this deadly curse upon us. Now you have come to finish the job? Uh, dude, it wasn't my fault. Our valley has been cursed ever since your kind first set foot here. Our shaman believes that this is the punishment of Mitik Ahitu Taralu, the goddess of death and the lady of the underworld. But our shaman is a silly old wench who ascribes to the gods what men have wrought. Um, why do you deserve punishment from the gods? We don't! He briefly wrestles with another coughing fit. Cough! My father, that old f food. My father, that old food? Is it supposed to be fool? <laughs> My father, the donut. My father, the burrito. Gravely offended, mitigated turtle. By attempting a forbidden ritual to bring his murdered daughter back, back, daughter back from the dead. But the ground was sour. Then the pale men came to our settlement. And my father died shortly thereafter. Uh, I'm come to collect the food from Mexico City. It's the attempts to growl in anger. Which he may have once have been able to pull off in an intimidating effect. But now it simply turns into predictable coughing fit. Look around, white man. Do you see much food to take? Does that market overflow with tribute stolen from poor, famished Mexico City? Um, dial it back, old man. I can't return to the city empty-handed. Perhaps we can... You can take some of our children. Their mothers have been feeding them from their own food. There's still some meat on their bones. I'm sure they'll make a delicious stew. Um, yeah, I don't want to feed children to them. So you do have food. Troops, search the town. Bring back all the food they have. 
You stay with Itzy and watch him while your troops methodically search Kuachitulan. One by one, they all return to you, empty-handed save for a few scraps. The old chieftain smirks. Um, we're not any good at diplomacy, so we're going to do scouting. All right, we'll try something else. Search for any clues of where they've hidden the food. Your troops disperse throughout the settlement, but again, once again, return empty-handed. The chieftain smirk grows. You know what? You leave me no choice. See, we could be nice, but we were nice to the other person, and that left me, or that left Carlos Dick Sucker with a dirty feeling in his soul that he did something to help someone. That's not why we came to the new world. You leave me no choice. Round up all the males in the town and bring them here. You gather the elders, watch the increasing fear as your people round. Oh, the gathered elders watch with increasing fear as your people round up the settlement's males and fighting age and gather them near you. All right, dude, we're going to execute them one by one until somebody tells us where the damn food is. It's that simple. Itzy coughs so hard his wife loses her hold on him and he falls to his knees. He struggles to bend his head up so he can fix you with a venomous glare. You, you monster! Shouldn't lie. Lying's bad. Gabrielle Ibera, who is in charge of the proceeding, looks at you questioningly. No, I'm going to nod. Mm -hmm, do it. A young boy around 14 years of age stands frozen in his fear as Gabriella draws her knife and walks over to him. With not a moment's hesitation, the hunter grabs the boy by the hair with her left hand, and with her right, she moves the blade across the boy's throat. The reaction from the assembled Aztecs is varied. Some cry out in anguish, others break down in tears, others still scream at you in outrage. Itzy sinks further to the ground, quivering. This time he does not raise his head to look at you. How, how can you do this? The chieftain raises his arm weakly. Stop! Please stop! I will tell you where the food is hidden. May the gods help us all! Told you he lied. What a liar. His wife helps him to his feet. Though she looks like she could use some support herself. Follow the path to the west into the wilderness. Turn south when you reach the Karn and follow the ruins until you reach an arrangement of stones. The food is buried in the center. Yeah, wouldn't it have been easier if you just told me from the start, dude? His voice is quivering. He is just as his people. F forgive me. Thanks, dudes. Good luck. Sorry about the kid. What's over here? Through a though a lot of space has been afforded, their market is not impressive. A few scattered townsfolk, probably from some of the outlying farms, preside over largely empty baskets. Let's uh purchase items. Oh, I don't care about that. We can make our own torches and spite traps. Let's see if we can trade with them anything. Ooh, they have a normal supply of these. We want all these. Um, That's a lot of rations. Yeah, we'll give you that many of those. And then... Yeah, and then we'll give you a bunch of food. <laughs> Just like fuck somebody up for it. Sweet. Got a bunch of equipment. So, I never remember who's got what. Oh, Lopez, we got enough experience to get you up there. Okay, Anna, you're good. Pilar. Martinez. I'm going to actually move you up a little bit with guns. And then be at whatever your name is. That will make you better. And we are going to make Rafael Lopez our lieutenant. Um, later on, we're going to try to make Pilar a sergeant at arms. So, let's see. What does he have? I'm going to look through these a second. All right, I think I picked this for someone else. Maybe it was Gabriella. I'm going to pick Fortune Favored. The crit chance is increased by half. Right now, it's like 7 so that should make it, I don't know, 12. So that's a pretty good chance to um, do a critical hit on somebody. Let's see, we got some more points. I really don't need... Oh, I didn't know, realize I put gave him tinkering ones. Uh, we'll give you... Yeah, we'll give you some of those, just in case. Sweet! And... 
They said the food was like south and down? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I thought they said go west and um... Return to text Coco and deliver the stolen sex to Coyote. I already did that. That was updated? But we already... We did that. Whatever. Okay, I think he said go west and then go south. Give me that. I'm betting that guy wants to fight. I guess if he wants to, let's go talk to him. Bring it, bitch! <laughs> Your advance party doubles back to warn you that they've encountered an Aztec patrol up ahead. The Aztecs appear to be aware of your presence and they're actively intercepting your chorus. Um, I'm going to ask what my expedition members think. Sierra clears her throat. I say we avoid them. Any armed group is a threat as far as I'm concerned, regardless of their regardless of their affiliations. <clears throat> Raphael snorts derisively. Clearly they are aware of our presence. I think our best option is to attack. Perhaps they're used to people around here fleeing whenever they go. And an aggressive response would take them by surprise. I agree with you, Raphael. Oh, I didn't need to know everybody's opinion. <laughs> Gabriella, maybe this patrol has been traveling across the plains collecting taxes and so on for Tenichi Colan. We might stand to acquire a considerable amount of valuables if we attack them. Sound. Daniela raises her voice. Capitan, arguing about it leads us nowhere. I say we meet the enemy head on and get it over with. Most of us want to fight. Um, let's inspect the terrain. The landscape here is uneven and devoid of trees with large rocks jutting out of the ground. You identify the area where your expedition are most likely to crash, clash with the Aztec patrol if you were to engage them in battle. It is a well-suited location for a close engagement with maze-like layout of paths navigable between rocks that will disrupt line of sight for ranged attacks. Oh, I don't like that. Ranged attacks are my fave. You send a few people ahead to find out who you're up against. They report that the patrol is the six men strong. With one champion, one shaman among the ranks. They look reasonably well equipped. Let's do it. Our new lieutenant, Gabrielle, Pilar, Rita the Horse Face, Sierra, and Anna. Alright, let's to battle! I hope they have tax money. Hell yeah. Alright, preparation phase. Oh, maybe I should have took the magic spear back. Where are we guys? Okay, we're way out here. They're up there. <clears throat> Why don't we just... Okay, you go back here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's put a barricade here. Let's put a barricade there. We're just gonna put two spike traps there because I don't want to cover that side. And then we're just going to set up here and see. If we need be, we'll watch that. Okay, so... <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, I got stuff in my throat. That's what she said. Oh, pff, whatever. <laughs> okay, um... Gabriella, you go up here. Go on, interrupt. Pilar, you go there. Go on, interrupt. Anna, you go there. We'll have Raphael. We'll have Raphael. Fuck, you go there and interrupt too. The Brita will have you do the same thing next to him. If I can get you where I want. There we go. And, um,. Oh, maybe I should use these people. What did I do with Pilar? Oh, I didn't see that they had two up there. <clears throat> I hope I didn't waste my spike traps down below. I guess it's not a waste if it makes sure that they can't get behind us. Yeah! 
Uh oh. I guess it's advantageous that they've got to run up the hill at us. If it's real life, you'd get fatigued doing that, but I don't think they have that in the game. Okay, I'm not too worried about the guys running around on that side. Let's, um... Okay, Gabriella, you run up here. You hit that? I'm just gonna put you guys on interrupt. Let them come up and do their thing. Let's see, we'll get you over there, Pilar, to set up. And, um... I guess we'll have Sierra come up here and then do the interrupt thing, too. Blast him! Shoot that bitch! Oh. Yeah! Ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> Those are worth it just because they make me laugh. I wouldn't laugh if it was my guys getting into them, but still. Yeah! Shouldn't charge up against a fortified position. There you go. Oh, that was mean of you. See how nice we were to you guys? Oh, I think we attacked them. Never mind. So how would he hit like that? Looks like he's got to shoot over the rock. Alright, poison fuckers. Where are you? Oh, I can't hit from there. Fuck it. Everybody just go back and interrupt. Oh. Yeah, suck on that nut job. Oh. Oh, so close. But there you go. <laughs> Uh, he's the, I guess that's the Calvary right there. Oh, you fucker! Man, he hit hard. I thought it said Cthulhu for a second. Oh. Like, oh no! Oh, quit gangbanging on my guy. Somebody go get him. Can you? No. Anna, go hit that guy. Yeah. Okay, Raphael, shoot that person. Oh, decent. Gabriella, you go up there and we'll try and shoot twice at him. Oh man, you're like right in his face, butthead. There you go. Rita, smack him hard. Oh no, oh, I hit the... I forgot she was... I forgot she had her, um, pole or her archibus selected. My bad. Alright, you go here. This will have you an interrupt. Do P same thing with Pilar. Because we're not close enough to hit anybody yet. Yeah, stab me, bitch. Just wait till next time. Ooh, nice. Oh man, how did he... Oh. I figure they go hit our best guy. Oh, go Anna. She hits fucking hard. She kicks like a mule. Nice. Good job, Rita. No, no. Oh. Kind of got lucky there. Get him in the back. Oh, I should have done that. It'll work out, but I should have done the stun thing, I guess. Nope, nope, nope. Wrong guy. Yay! 
victory against the Aztec. Hey, and Lopez is okay. Hopefully they had some good stuff. Your troops face off against the Aztec. Oh, that 500 valuables. Kick ass. The Aztec troll and emerge victorious. Your people quickly rifle through the belongings of your vanquished foes and add their loot to the car your carts. There's an unusually large amount of valuable trinkets and a large enough range of artistic expression that you suspect that they must have been stolen or raised as taxes from remote villages. You also recover a healthy amount of rations and a pouch of untreated medicinal herbs. Well, that was pretty sweet. Fuck yeah. Man, it's good murder in Aztecs. <laughs> I mean, as a conquistador, I'm not saying in real life go find people whose ancestors were the Aztecs and attack them. They already had enough to deal with. Count with this. What the hell is that? I wonder if this is, uh, uh... What's his name? Laszlo's friend. This is either Laszlo's friend or the food. It's gotta be. Um, your expedition is carefully making its way up a narrow path on the side of the mountain when you turn a corner to be faced with a beautiful view. Rose-colored clouds stretch across the sky and reflect the sun's light across the lush landscape far below you. A single sturdy tree, timelessly ancient, makes a striking silhouette at the top of a rock outcropping. Beneath its canopy stands a solitary wooden cross. Let's look at this cross. The side of the cross... Facing away from the cliff is engraved with the outlines of flowers and nothing more. Into the back side of the following, the following inscription has been artfully carved. Sweet mountain flower, justice will be done. At the foot of the cross, arranged to face away from the cross and towards the horizon, is an exquisite conquistador's helmet engraved with a gold pattern. Let's check it out. You recognize the helmet as soon as you pick it up. It belonged to the conquistador Felipe Gutierrez, who was sent on an expedition three years prior to yours from which nobody ever returned. Beneath the helmet is a small, distinctly feminine pouch full of medicinal herbs and remedy. The na remedies. The name's In Inez is stitched into it. Pilar look leads forward. The helmet looks valuable. I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> I love you, Pilar. <laughs> That was my thought, too, when I said it was gold. From behind her, Daniela Hernandez raises her hands in warning. This site's a memorial for somebody who fell in service to the Spanish crown. Taking the helmet is the equivalent of disturbing the grave of a Christian. Sierra raises her hand from the back. Capitan, if I may, regardless of Gutierrez's intentions, the dead do not need to armor, the living do. A lot of care went into the making of this helmet. It may save someone's life. I can't believe that she wants us to do the stealing thing. We're going to take the medicine and the helmet. Let's see. The greedy and cautious people are happy. The pious and the others aren't. You would like to take the medicine and the helmet with you. But leave the empty pouch at the foot of the cross. Well, that's cool. So we can give somebody some more gear. Um, let's see. Who should we give it to? I'd like to give it to you, but we can't do that until we, um, make you a veteran or something. We don't ever use you, Hernandez. Martinez? Here, we'll give it to, uh, Sierra. She wanted us to take it anyway. What's that? Oh, that must be the hidden food. I could tell, because it said it on the map. All right, we'll camp out here. Is everybody doing something? I guess so. Sooner or later, we should start making some more, like, uh, camp stuff. Like, uh, spike traps and barricades and shit. Okay, one of that. Want the herbs. There, we want the gold. All right, that's the food. You locate the stone formation just where you've been instructed to look. Dig between the stones. Your servants immediately begin digging, and almost immediately they strike thick shale tablets. The tablets are pulled up to reveal a cavity with many sacks of food. We're going to take the food. Three entire carts are filled with the food before the earthen cavity is empty. 
This might indeed have kept the city going for a while with sufficiently strict rationing, though you doubt it'll f feed Mexico City for even a day. Well, whatever. It's not our th shit to deal with. Um... What's that up there? Zakabu Patawa. See, that's the ways to the north. Let's see if we can head up there. Man, we've killed so many Aztecs. Now we just need to uh, sack their capital city. I don't think we'd have enough people to do that, though. Maybe they'll just give us some treasure because we're awesome? I think that seems cool. Hi, Mr. Piggy. We might let you go, Mr. Piggy. Oil, that's kick ass. Okay, so there's something. In oh, wait, there's a magic rock there. Now, let's just go over here and camp. And then we'll touch the magic rock. Let's see, we got one more equipment. Oh man, we lost 3,000 valuables? Holy fuck. Our guards didn't do a good enough job, I guess. That fucking sucks. Oh, and there's more stuff here. And then we'll go north of the city. Sweet. Sweet Caroline. <laughs> That's what conquistadors think, saying. They're all like, dun, dun, dun. Conquistadorian never felt so good when we murder everybody. The day of our Lord. Oh man, somebody stole our, some of our medicine. What the hell? There are thieves everywhere. Ooh, we got some more valuables. Sweet. I don't think I've ever seen two of those right next to each other before. Piggy. Mr. Piggy. We would like to find you delicious. Ooh, and more. I hope there was nobody's pig in the city. Have you seen my pet pig? Uh. Alright, let's do it. Let's. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Stop. I want that thing. I guess we gotta camp. Yeah, our camp defense is held up. Man, whoever stole 3,000 valuables from us, they must be, like, rich. No. Must be like, dude, this was awesome. All these dumb white people. I took so much of their shit. There's a pig in the city? It's Babe, pig in the city. Okay, Babe, pig in the city. I'll let you live because of that. Because you remind me of a friend. Not because I have a friend who's like a pig, but... In the a large serene valley covered in lush vegetation, you discover the city of Zalapa. The citizens you encounter on the way towards the city proper are all remarkably polite, though they do stare quite a bit, as one might expect. Eventually, you meet a small patrol of warriors who request your permission to take you to their chieftain. Okay, let's meet their chieftain to pick Totown. You're taken through the city to a large house of multiple rooms. Not quite a palace, but certainly built for a similar purpose. On a stool in a large room, just past the entrance, sits a man in his late thirties. He's not dressed in any way that might set him apart from anyone else in the city, but something about his demeanor signals power and authority. Hey dude, looking good. The chieftain stands as you enter, takes one step towards you, and addresses you in what sounds like a somewhat humorous and rather irreverent tone. A young woman next to him translates his words into impeccable Spanish. Well, another group of white people has come across the sea, shining like silver statuettes. Don't bother pretending to be gods. My people won't fall for that twice. I never did. Um, I like this guy. I could be an asshole, but I'm gonna be... 
Uh, as you have preemptively foiled my plans, I shall have to simply introduce myself. I am Carlos Dick Sekiro. Yes. I take it that you are the chieftain? Tepic Tutaton? He looks around the room in a theatrical manner. Alas, for lack of a wiser, more well-behaved chieftain, I am all the Lapa's got. Welcome to my city, Carlos Dick Sekiro. I take it your intentions are peaceful? Obviously, you don't know about me. Since our conversation has not been cut short by thunder from your weapons. Yeah, give it some time. To pick Tototan absolutely butchers your name. That's okay, I probably butchered his too. But his interpreter pronounces it perfectly in the translations. Yeah, it seems my predecessors has left you with a bad impression of my people. The chieftain smirks. I will attempt not to let my bias poison our dealings. Now tell me, how can our peaceful settlement accommodate you and your people? Uh, oh, tell us about your people. Is this interest genuine interest or diplomatic politeness? It's actually genuine in interest because if there's any way you can help me against the Aztecs, assuming you're not an Aztec city, I do give a shit. Well, it's a topic dear to my heart, and there is much to say, but I shall present you with a short version. We are the Totonac, and Exalapa is our greatest city. Here we are about 120,000 people! Interesting. We have been subjects of the Aztec Empire since my father was chieftain of the Axalapa. Though they show no interest in the well-being of our province, though they impose their laws on my people without any understanding of the conditions we face, we remain, uh, remain ever loyal to, to Nishikolan. This is what I'm looking for. I'm quiet because I'm smiling. This, you sound like you could use an ally, friend. As luck would have it, I'm looking for an ally, too. Allies, you say? Hmm. He leans a little to the side in his throne, and you are reminded of a magpie eyeing a fruit that has landed slightly too close to a cat. Yeah, there's a shitload of treasure in Mexico City we could all share. Yes, perhaps we should discuss a mutually beneficial arrangement. All right, what would the nature of this arrangement be, friend? I, I'm all ears. I'm looking to rid myself of the influence of the Empire, and I've been working on this matter for quite some time, but your people present a unique opportunity to hasten the process. Excellent. First and foremost, I must unite the Totonac peoples under my leadership. This is the problem I have most recently stumbled over, as the Totonac have only ever been ruled by their own individual chieftains. There is an idol once possessed by my father, and is held to be, the own, be holy by our shamans, and though my father never exploited its political power, I am certain I could make better use of it if I could reclaim it, only he lost it to another chieftain in battle many years ago. Okay, I got what you, you want me to fetch quest it. It will not be the sort of problem it might sound like. The chieftain who took the idol from my father recently passed away. He had no heir, but unfortunately his tribe still refuses to give up the idol. You could convince them too. Dude, I can do anything. That means yes, we can get the damn idol. His eye, He eyes your weapon with concern, but says nothing. I trust that you will not act recklessly in this matter. <laughs> you trust wrong, friend. That said, as long as you return to me with the idol in hand, I may forgive any indiscretion. Good luck, Spaniard. The chieftain's young translator gives you a peculiar le look when you leave. Does that mean they said something mean? Let's see, what's that? Small hut. Totonac village. Okay, what, what's the other shit going on here? It's the market. Let's browse the trapper's items. I don't care about nets and spike traps. We'll make our own. Let's see if there's anything worth trading. Ah, uh, they have money. Is oh, equipment's the only thing that's worth much of anything here. So fuck that. We do have some we can give to somebody though. Ah, uh, we'll s give it to you. And then um, I don't know. Give you one more, Rita, for the few times you do get a shoot. What's this building? You let your people explore Zalapa by themselves. It's fairly charming for such a large city. It seems to be well off, and its people are friendly once they get off over their initial fear of the unfamiliar. 
I'll get familiar with them. When you ju when you just about feel like you familiarize familiarized yourself with the place, a commotion near one of the elders' huts alerts you that one of your people has like, transgressed in some way against the locals. All right, look, guys, I believe in killing natives, but not if they're going to be our ally against the Aztecs. Carlos Saraga is standing half naked in front of one of the local elders. <laughs> Who is shouting and screaming in very upset tones? Capitan, help me! This crazy, la calm this crazy lady down. She's out of my mind. Where are your clothes? Where are your clothes? He can't help but grin, sh grin sh sheepishly. I, uh, I may have fooled around a little with this lady's daughter. It was quite consensual, I assure you. This mad old hag will hear none of it, though. Uh, just get your damn clothes and let get the fuck out of here, idiot. At once, senor, but please, she says she's put a curse on me. Can you get her to take it back? Uh, last time I said no to such a thing, we got... Someone died. There's no such thing as curses. Don't let superstitions get the better of you, dumbass. I understand, Capitan, but it's just, you know, better safe than sorry, right? I feel better if she'd take it back. You have to live with an asshole. Go fetch your damn clothes and get on out of here. He gives you a miserable look. See, Capitan. That's what happens when you're putting your dick where it shouldn't be. The scholar darts into the old woman's house and returns moments later with his clothes. Carlos nods respectfully to you as he passes you before disappearing out of town back towards your carts. Unbelievably, a few hours later, Zaraga does fall horribly ill. Thankfully, it seems to be nothing you can't treat with the right medicine. Yeah, it probably wasn't from the old lady. He probably got a disease from the girl. He's probably got, I don't know, chlamydia or something. So we're gonna... Next time, I guess we'll go that way, probably. I don't know. Next, We'll figure out where we're gonna go next time. Returning to your caravan on the outskirts of Zalapa, a girl of about 14 or 15 years of age stops you on the road. You recognize her as a young woman who translated the chieftain's words into flawless Spanish. Excuse me, Senor Dick Sakura. I wish to make a request of you. Hey, you're the translator, aren't you? What's your name, little girl? At, at 15, she could probably be somebody's wife <laughs> back then, whatever. There are no pauses in the girl's speech. She is talking much faster now than when she was with tra than when she was translating. My name is Anna Cocon. Yes, you met me in the throne room. I want to ask if I can come with you. Please, it would mean a lot to me if you would come with me. Or let me. Uh, why do you want to leave this place, lady? The girl takes a deep breath, and you steal yourself for yet another onslaught of words. I just want to experience adventure like you or Uncle Miguel, Miguel, and I hate, hate the idea of staying in the stupid city and spending my entire life here with whatever oaf wins my hand in merits. I know lots of girls my age just want to find a boy, but I want to explore and see new fun places and meet new people and have fun. Do you want to murder people and steal what they have so you can be rich? Because if so, little girl, this might be the group for you. I'm not sure. Think about how useful it could be to have me with you. I am much better at Spanish than anybody else you'll meet, I promise. I can translate for you, and, I'll, and I've learned about the Olmec and the Toltec, and I can read the old glyphs, and I'm a chieftain's daughter. I'm a diplomatic asset, right? Yeah, how'd you speak? learn to speak Spanish so well? Uncle Miguel... Miguel how can I not pronounce Miguel? <laughs> Taught me. He, he's not my real uncle, but he might as well be family. He left a few months ago because he thought it was dangerous to stay in the Glapa. He came with Chief uh, Capitan Gutierrez, but stayed behind when this expedition left because he liked it here. And, and he taught me lots of things about Spain and Europe and to understand and speak Spanish so I could translate for father. Father? Oh, the Chief's her father. Wouldn't you, your dad be angry if I took you with me? She shakes her head vigorously. Nope! I don't know about that. Well, maybe. I mean, his warriors would have to do something. I mean, his warriors would have to do something. I think that's the rule. Yeah. I guess he'll get over it eventually. Uh, Anna makes two small jumps and throws herself at you, hugging you. Your people are staring at both of you like they can't believe she's for real. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm ready to leave whenever. I don't really have anything that I need to bring. Thank you. This can't go terribly bad. You decide to take a different way out of the village to avoid the Totonac warriors standing watch. No sooner have you lost sight of the village than the ruckus behind you announces the discovery of Anna's abduction. Your expedition is forced to flee the premises with arrows and spear raining down upon you. Oh god, I hope I didn't ruin my chance to be allies with these guys. 
Yeah, it's my own damn fault. And yeah, your kid can come with us. We should have gone back and you just should, should have told your dad, Anna Banana. You're the one who wanted to come with. Get everybody to the escape zone. Okay, who do we got to fight? These guys are going to be our allies, though, I hope. What the hell is that? That's scary. Okay, where's the escape zone? Oh, I bet that's the escape zone. Oh, fuck that shit. Can you hit him from here? No? Okay, we're gonna... Where's Anna? Okay, Sierra. You run up there. Fire once. Oh, nice. Switch. Okay, Anna Banana, you run there. Form a front. Okay, Raphael, you go there. Don't interrupt. Gabriella, you do the same there. Let's see, Rita, you do the same, but only here. And Pilar, you do the same from way back here. I hope this doesn't make them hate us. Just, uh, I shouldn't have taken the kid. I just thought it would be nice to have a translator. She knows about the Olmec and the Tolmec. Oh man, that's not good. Holy fuck, how many of them are there? <laughs> I hope this isn't the last thing we do. Okay. Okay, um... Raphael, fire at that person. Okay, move up here. Sierra, you go just... You hit them. Nice. Um... Why don't you finish them off? Rita, you run up here. Rita, Rita. You hit anybody? Nope. So I'll just put you on interrupt. I don't know if anybody will get up that far. Pilar, you do the same. I'll have Gabrielle run up and be like that too. I could have probably moved Anna yet. I wasn't thinking. Nice! Oh. That's bad. Well, I guess it's not so bad if they can't uh, attack. We're going to have to murder like half this poor city. Oh, I didn't even see that asshole. Oh, man. Rita got poisoned? Oh. Still one of the few times I'm going to probably wish I brought a doctor. Alright, can you guys, um... Okay, Sierra, you, uh, stun them. Then Anna, you hit them hard. Nice. Okay, uh, Gabriella? Let me shoot this guy. Do it again. Oh, kick ass. I didn't expect her to kill him. Let's move up. Let's keep going with the interrupt thing, I guess. I want to start a fire up ahead, but that would probably block her path out of here. Actually, Sierra, or uh, Anna, you can probably stop him. We got Sierra to come back to. Here's a note, kids. If you're if you're at home, if the chief's daughter of some empire offers to come with you, uh, make sure it's cool with her dad. Oh man, they are fucking Rita up. They got pretty good 
accuracy with their bows, I guess. Let's see. Okay, you finish that guy off, Anna. Nice. Man, I don't want to put Rita up too far. I'll just fire from here. Nope. Um, you hit from there, Pilar? It's worth a shot, I guess. No. Come on, you gotta use their long range. Oh. Never mind. What's the smoke bomb do? It's partial conf um, cover in one spot around... There we go. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I've never used it before. Hopefully it means they miss more. I don't... Oh. I'm sorry I'm so quiet. Usually I talk more. I'm just like... I'm just... I'm speechless. I'm like, it's, it was my own stupidity. I'm like, yeah, this little girl seems like a good idea to bring with us. Why not? Okay, Gabriella, just blast the fuck out of this person. Good deal. Sierra, hit him hard. Nice. Okay, we're gonna... Oops, that's not what I meant to do. I guess we'll just move forward and create a front. There you go, Pilar, you go on interrupt. Gabrielle, go behind you. Have a good shot. What have you gone interrupt to? Let Rita do the same. Nope. <laughs> Please. Hey, that's something. Woo. Oh. I do not think we're going to get them all out alive. Man, this map is huge. It's really cool. <laughs> that guy's like, I'm going to do it. Are those civilians running away? Oh, no! Come on, we want to be allies with this dude. We're getting close to the extraction point, I guess. Yeah. Okay, um... Anna, can you, uh, fuck that guy up? See if you can shoot him. Come on, Sierra. No. What about you, Rita? All right. Um, I know that they're not the best people for shooting, but I really wanted to save the best shooting people to see if we could hit someone downfield. No. There we go. Okay, can we hit anyone down there? It's a trapper. 89? What about if we do the double thing? 59? That's a long shot. I always say that literally. It's so funny it's not meant to be. Alright. Oh, I can't believe he missed both of those. Oh, I wanted to drop fire on them, but they would have blocked our own path. I've done a lot of stupid things, but I guess at least I didn't do that. Oh, you tit. You fucking tit. Uh. 
Oh no! It's not good. And I strike that person down. Okay, um. Shoot him? Nope. Man, Rita's gonna be fucked getting that close, but I don't know, maybe I'm moving forward too fast. Oh, we gotta buy you guys buckshot, I guess. Okay, Pilar, what about you? I gotta get her on the front. No! Okay, you just come up there and double shot people, Gabriela. You gotta save the day. Be a hero. The guns make people heroes. Uh, there you go. Okay, we can hide you back here. Probably still get you. Raphael. Yeah, let's see if we can hit that guy. It's a huge percentage chance. Yeah. I, I'm, I bet you they're gonna drop one of our people here, though. Oh man, this might be good. Okay, um, we go here. And here? We're just gonna take it to him, fuck it. Yeah! Oh man, I can't believe that did not finish the job. Okay, Pilar. No! Oh! <laughs> what I meant to do! You could probably tell I'd be going, no! <laughs> Wasn't what I meant to do. Okay, just kick this fucker. You come up. Damn. Okay, stun him. Oh, so close. So we still got we still got one person to attack left. That's Anna. Can move Pilar up at least. Oh, right there. Oh, I fucked that up. It worked out. You run up and hit the bear. I've gotten away with so much stupidity this time. Carlos Dick Sucro is not the genius tactician. Are those civilians over there? Oh, they're warriors. Apparently those are the pussy warriors. There you go. Now I hope these aren't death holes, but these are how you extract your people. So then how we do it? I hope so. I guess we're going to find out next time. I don't mean next episode, but... Okay, just in case, we're going to run these guys back and... Have them cover. Oh man, that would suck if they killed some run from out there. Wait, am I... Did I miss something? How do we... What? I'm... Confused? I assumed that those were the escape places. What do it? What? I'm... I don't know. Oh man, look at all these dead people because one little girl wanted to join us. Man, and I wanted them to be our allies to fight the Aztecs. It's gonna be fucked if they're not. All that way, all that goal.
I hope they're still cool about that. Hopefully their dad forgives us. Should've known better. What, I can only extract two people? Do I have to get the rest there? Alright. So who's in good shape? Sierra, you are? Charge. You are Pilar? Okay, let's get you here. We hit anyone downrange? Nope. Let's see, Raphael. Let's see if you can hit anybody down there. It's a long shot. Let's... Whatever. Let's try it. Nope. It'll at least set us up for later. Let's see. We'll just have Anna. And Rita take up the lead, or not the lead, take up the <laughs> Have the injured people lead! Get the paramedics out there, get those stretchers out there! Charge! Okay, so... Man, we're just gonna book now. It's hard to get super excited when there's... The relaxing river music, river noise in the background. Whoa, so nice and relaxing. Good deal. Kick ass. You guys just take your time back here. Leave no one behind. Yeah, dude, how are you going to hit that far with a blowgun? That's like a mile away. Oh, you dick burger. Oh, fuck. Double dick burger on you. Oh, Pilar can't hit them, but at least she can run up and try and shoot somebody, I guess. Holy fuck, it worked. What about you, Sierra? I still will have you go here. We can have our gun people do this shit. Nice! This is like the longest, longest escape ever. By the time we get to the escape zone, it won't matter because we'll have murdered the entire city. Probably mostly because I don't know how to use the escape zones. Maybe there was something else I could have hit. Okay. Actually, um... I might as well put her on interrupt back there. It's probably not going to matter because they're far, so far back, but... Yeah, bring it. Kick me in the jibby. Thank you, sir, but I have another. I'll stun you. Yeah. Well, actually, we might be able to kill him like this. Sweet. Yeah, just do your interrupts. Come on, where's the back? Come on, rear guard. Your guard my booty. Keep it safe from butt pirates. Arr. <laughs> There'd be treasure in your booty hole. <laughs> what? Uh, black gold. Ew. You die now, friend. Oh, actually, we can't get close enough. He might still die, but... Wait, no. What about from there, over the rock? <clears throat> Sweet. Do it. Ugh, <gasps> oh, Viaco Dios. 
Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna cheer about that. That just became a giant clusterfuck. All we were trying to do was just leave. Uh, instead of simply making your escape, your stubbornness kicks in and you order your troops to stand and fight. They look at you like you're mad, but they do as you command. But when the battle is finally over, the jungle floor is littered with your pursuers. Half of them unconscious, the other half writhing in pain. Anna Kona is collaring behind your carts, looking absolutely horrified. Uh, make sure they'll live, because we need these guys as allies. Anna seems to calm down a little as you give the order to make sure the survivors will be alright. Not all of them going to get out of this without some permanent injuries, but once you're ready to leave, you're fairly sure none of them will die. Sweet! We did get her. Having thus seen you from a more compassionate side, Anna jumps onto one of your carts and settles down on some sacks in the corner, wondering if she made the right choice in joining you. Yeah, I'm wondering if I made the right choice in taking you, girl. But, whatever. We want these people to be our allies, so... So, what do they want us to do? Oh, they want us to get that stupid ass idol. An ass idol? <laughs> Where is she? Is she in our group? There she is. She's, um... Oh, we could even improve her and have her fight with us. She's a civilian recruit. <laughs> so she could be, like, a better civilian? <laughs> I don't think we want that. What? Let's see what she's good at. Let's uh, bring up the camping menu. Uh, did I pass her? Let's see. She's good at patrolling, herbalism, and tinkering. So why don't we have her... Um, let's see. Are we good on barricades? Let's see. We'll put the magic spear back. What are those? Spike traps. Oh, we got a net trap. Man, there must be a lot of other things we haven't found yet. Um, so we'll have her work on barricades. Apparently not for very long. It's a very sexy noise I made. And Carlos, you go back to... Oh, you're diseased. Oh, I forgot, you got your curse. You got the sexually transmitted disease. Oh, I guess it's a good thing Anna joined up or I never would have looked at that. Next time, we'll have a different adventure. Hopefully without having to... Oh, fight some kids' parents' troops. <laughs> Take it easy, everybody.